This is Unforeseen Incidents. Unforeseen Incidents is a point-and-click narrative adventure experience um, in a very classical way, actually. It's, it's, it's very much the classical point-and-click experience. Um, the voice acting is wonderful. The artwork is really unique looking, and I really quite like it. The puzzles don't seem to rely, at least so far on what I've played, don't seem to rely that much on crazy, crazy moon logic. Everything kind of basically makes sense, especially within this narrative of uh, the main character being able to fix anything with anything. Um, it's it's very, very nicely put together. It's odd how it kind of feels like it's going to become a horror game at any second, but so far of the nearly three hours I've played of it this morning, it does feel like uh, it feels like an amusing adventure game. And then I found a woman in the street bleeding from her face, which is very weird and very out of place. Um, it is oddly haunting. Yeah, I would say it's most certainly 100% worth checking out. It's genuinely, genuinely enjoyable so far. Um, I've played through. I'm not hugely good at these adventure games, so I do get stuck a lot. But I didn't find this massively perplexing. Um, I, things just took a little bit of thought applied to them. So far, if I had to have one criticism, it'd be the fact that there's a lot of backtracking back and forth around the map. And while you can click on uh, the arrow to exit a location, you can double click it or jump to the exit. Uh, you can't click uh, to move faster in between locations. So if I move from one of the screen to another, I can't find any way of making the character speed up, which is annoying, but kind of adds to the immersion of the game, I guess. Uh, it's by Black, by Backwoods Entertainment, sorry. Backwoods Entertainment. And uh, it's listed as I mean, Application Systems Heidelberg as well as the developer. And it's published by Application Systems Heidelberg. <laughs> wow, I can't say that. It's available in multiple languages. Uh, it's fully voiced and it supports uh, open dyslexic fonts, which is nice. It's just an option you can select in the menu. I'm always pleased to see that. Now, my game code was provided by to me uh, by the developer. By me to the developer? I don't want to go with that one. Um, but the game is usually priced at £15.49. It's been out for a little while. It's been out since the 24th of May 2018. It had Linux support on day one. Um, yeah, this is a game that I'm surprised isn't getting more attention than it actually is because it's creepy and weird and very well voice acted. And, you know, we don't get that many good point-and-click type adventures, narrative adventures. I'm not sure what they correct raising is for that now actually but yeah uh, either way it's it's good it's worth your attention i liked it a lot i had no problems running it there's no caveats at all it even does the nice thing where if the mouse leaves the game window it pauses um which in a narrative adventure game is actually quite good because you don't miss dialogue if you had you know you have to come away from the screen for any reason um which is quite nice it's like a quick pause method um shame you can't turn it off Obviously, I might want to click around some email while someone's repeating dialogue to me or something. But yeah, it's nicer it's there in the first place. And it kind of feels like it fits in this particular game. Um, it's helpful. As I said, the thing that's stunning about this is the uh, the artwork. It, it's really nicely done. It's really unique looking. And this game is like, you can see any screen from this game and you kind of know which game you're looking at, which is nice. It's not sort of this mass production style artwork we see in... Um, out of a lot of the more higher-end games, like the Telltale stuff, where it's higher-end's the wrong word, the more well-known, the more mainstream games like Telltale that seem to have a very defined style. This stuff is very much uh, unique to this game, and I really like it. The town's weird. It's got like a... I suppose it's got sort of a Twin Peaksy vibe to it, but not quite. Um, definitely inspired by that sort of stuff. And uh, all in all, can't recommend enough. I'm going to carry on playing this now and hopefully uh, at least make it to the end of Chapter 1 because, yeah, I'm making some slow progress. I'm not good at these games, but I do enjoy them. And that is, that's the main thing, I guess. So thank you for watching. I'm next DSL. This has been Unforeseen Incidents. Bye.